Hey guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing a new pair of shoes I got from Nike. These here are the Nike ZoomX Invincible Run FK3. Uh, pretty excited to try these out. I've tried out a few different shoes that already include ZoomX in it. I've tried a lot with uh, React in it, so I'm really excited to see how these are. Uh, I know a lot of people had high praise for the 1 and 2 on these. I never picked them up. Uh, I kind of stuck with what I had already. I've always used either the Epic React, uh, ZoomFly, or the Vaporfly. So this is my second type of shoe that has uh, Zoom X that is a running shoe, not including like Space Hippies and stuff like that. So I've been using the Vaporfly, which is a Zoom X shoe. This one is also going to have Zoom X, but it looks like it has a, a lot more protection and it looks like it could be a little bit more versatile. So opening up the box here, it's a little bit different of a box than I've seen. Uh, as you can see, it has all the logos here of all the different Nike brands. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open this up. So first glance at the shoe, you definitely are grabbed by this uh, Zoom X midsole, which is insane. Just take a look. It's like all encapsulated within here which I never really understood. Well, I guess I do understand. You wanna make the Vaporfly as light as possible, right? Uh, but they wear down so quickly. So I was always wondering, why don't they do something like this where they encase it the way it is here and make it that way? And this is exactly what I envisioned when I thought of something like that. So this is pretty awesome. So of course, a lot heavier than what the Vaporfly is. I don't have a scale or anything like that, uh, but definitely something you can use daily. Like if you're gonna be walking to work, anything like that, if you're gonna be working out in between, this is something you can do. If you're gonna go on runs after your workout, perfect. I've been working out in Metcons lately, and it sucks that you can only really lift in those. If you try to run, you're pretty screwed. So this is something that I feel like you can take with you to the gym. Uh, I wouldn't really do squats in these, I wouldn't think, with the Zoom X. But anything other than that, you're pretty good with. But yeah, taking a look at the shoe, really, really nice. I like the way this looks a lot. They have a few different colorways, but this one was definitely my favorite. Uh, it has like a white fly knit upper with a swoosh on the outside and a swoosh on the toe box. There's no swoosh on the inside. You do get your branding right here, the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run 3. And on the other end, you do get Nike Zoom X. You get a whole bunch of tread and protection here on the bottom, which is really, really nice. And then taking a look at the insole, it says, smile for miles, just do it. You get some more branding here on the tongue. It says Nike Invincible Run 3, Zoom X, fly knit. And then taking a look at the other shoe, it's exactly the same. It follows the same way as the last. And then here on the insole, it says, Zoom X, just do it. As it comes to sizing, uh, for all my running shoes or workout shoes, I usually go to a 12. I'm usually an 11 and a half. I do 11 and a half, 12 mainly, but for anything that I'm gonna be working out in, I go with a 12 because in case my feet swell, I don't want them to be too tight. So I went to 12 in these, the fly knit is pretty tight, so these fit perfect. And overall for this new Invisible Run 3, I feel like it is the perfect middle point. It's something that runners are gonna love. I think it's gonna be something that people who just are out and about a lot are gonna love. If you're walking a lot, like for me now, I live downtown, so I try to walk as many places as I can. I think these are gonna be something I can wear doing that too. But definitely this is gonna be my new gym shoe. I'm gonna be using this a lot when I go now, uh, especially if I'm gonna be doing any type of running after, I'm just gonna be wearing these. I don't have to change shoes or anything. I'm still gonna keep the Vaporflies in the rotation because, well, those are like very expensive and I don't wanna wear them down as much. So these will take most of the beating now and all the other longer runs will be in the Vaporfly. Hey, but that is gonna be it for this one. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the new Nike Zoom X Invincible Run 3. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all next time.